What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Anthem video and today we're going to take a closer look at the customization options this game will offer. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and Anthem is a game you, like me, are pumped for, be sure to subscribe for those daily Anthem videos upon its release. Okay, so Anthem... As we know, it's getting closer and closer to being released. Many of us have waited a long time, sucking in every detail by a way of drop. Yesterday, we got a great stream showcasing many, many options in customization, you know, which you can do to your javelin suit, and it looks absolutely incredible. Today, together, I will run through all you need to know. Okay, so on screen now, you can see the hub in game where you customize your javelin suit. It's called the Forge. You can see on screen now also the interaction points and options for customization the game will offer. We see helmet, chest, arms, legs, paint, wear state, vinyls, animations and so forth. The helmet, chest, arms and legs obviously change the appearance of your armor pieces. The paint obviously sets the colors of choice. The javelin will see the customization options too. In the video will be the ranger. First let's check out the painting options we have. In the paint tab, you will have six regions you can change the colors of. Upon selecting any of these, you will see it isn't just the colors you can change. You can also change the physical texture, which also changes the way certain colors will look on different armors. You can use metals here, you can use fabrics and so forth. Each can change the way colors will look and act upon your armor. Obviously, applying a metallic color to fabric materials won't look right, but applying that same metallic color to a metal armor will look absolutely amazing. The many different ways and styles you have to choose from is absolutely crazy. After selecting the textures you want for your javelin suit, you then have a numerous selection of colors you can choose from, or you can use a color wheel to create your own colors, and there's 12 spots for custom colors which you can save. Pretty damn cool. The six different sections all obviously relate to certain parts of the suit. Mixing and matching will be fun. And the amount you can actually change looks so in-depth, it's unbelievable. The six regions include three hard and three soft locations. This, though, I will say, is for the Ranger armor. Other classes may be different. The hard surfaces no doubt represent the actual armor. The soft surfaces, I believe, are represented by the undergarments we see. So let's take a look at the armor pieces. These parts obviously are unlocked in-game. Some, though, will be default. But others you will unlock by doing various challenges and missions and so forth. We see the Legion of Dawn armor being applied here. This is the pre-order armor pack. The armors, I believe, are for cosmetic look only. It's your javelin suit which upgrades, so it doesn't matter what armor you're actually wearing. You can look the way you want to look and still be powerful and level up. You can also save your loadouts and armor customizations. At the moment at launch, I believe there will only be five available slots for you to save your designs per suit. But five is enough for me. They do say though, there may be more upon after launch, which is cool. So many, many things you can do in terms of changing the colors, changing the armor pieces you want to actually wear, changing individual parts of each armor. It's just absolutely crazy, people, it really is. The depth to this looks amazing. And we ain't finished yet so we're going to move on to the wear tab this tab allows you to apply a certain look to your finished javelin design you can apply things such as a rough and beat up overlay you can make yourself look dirty chipped paint and so forth even cover the suit in grime if that's what you like to do again though with the fabrics a stain to cloth will show much better than what it would do on metal and it makes sense so they've actually really thought about it so what about vinyls now these are like an extra theme you can apply to your suits after you've designed the way you want to look, colours and so forth. The vinyls are unlocked via plain and are not javelin specific. They may look better on certain javelin suits but they are unlocked across the board once you unlock one. Vinyls are like themes and we can see how certain themes will look on screen now. Vinyls, important to note, you cannot change the colours. We can also see that N7 vinyl right there which Mass Effect fans will know. So animation, so here we have five different emotes. We have a victory pause, which is seen at the end of missions and so forth. An arrival animation, which is when you arrive somewhere. So say you accept a party invite and enter your friend's game. You will land with an arrival animation, epic. And then we have three emotes, which you can use whenever you want. Obviously the usual crazy dances and pointing and so forth, yeah. And guys, that's 
probably basically all covered of what you can actually do here within the customization options to your javelin suit. Weapons as well will be customizable, but they did say not the same way you can customize your armors. They state another stream will come where they will cover that. We get a slight glimpse at the storm class and the colossus, but not much in terms of customization for them. Today was strictly the ranger. But yeah guys, it looks crazy, it looks in depth, the customization options look absolutely amazing. No two players will look the same unless they're using default colors. I mean, it's just craziness what you can do and the amount of textures you can apply to each armor piece. And then you've got each armor piece you can unlock, uh, the helmet, the gauntlets, the chest piece, the legs, and you can mix and match, you can look the way you want. That's just absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it, people. Not long now at all. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. I will leave you now to see Bioware creating the perfect N7 costume, the way it should look. It looks absolutely amazing. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and have for me what you want to see, be sure to subscribe. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
never get it right.